Hey, this is Leo and in this video I would like to give you a quick preview of the upcoming MIDI mapping feature that'll be available in the next version of Ableset. Please excuse my voice, I'm still kind of recovering from a cold so uh, it might sound a bit different than usual. The MIDI mapping feature allows you to map incoming MIDI from any device to features in Ableset. This has already been possible using the max for life Ableset controller but this requires either Live Standard with the Max for Life extension or Live Suite, which can be quite expensive. So I wanted to make this available as a native feature in Ableset. To get started, you just go to the new settings page and then scroll down to edit MIDI mapping. And here you see a list of available MIDI inputs. I currently only have my IAC driver here and my virtual piano. And to add a new mapping, we just click on add new mapping and now we press the node that we want to map. So in my case, for example, I'll take this low G here. Now this appears in the list of mappings and I can now map a feature to it. So for example, I could map the play pause toggle to it. And now when I press this key, I will set toggles between play and pause. There's a bunch of features already available here, so you can jump to the next song, the next section, you can toggle the loop, for example. But if you want to take this a step further, you can also write custom OSC commands. So for example, if I want my key to pause playback and then jump to the next song, I can do this by writing slash global slash pause and then a semicolon and then slash setlist slash jump by songs one. So now let's start playback. And when I now press the G key, it stops playback and jumps to the next song. A documentation of all available OSC commands is available on the Ableset website. And this basically allows you to control every aspect of Ableset using your MIDI controller. You can also map CC values to commands. To show you this, I'll add a new mapping here. And I'll just use the CC value 92, for example. Now if I wiggle this knob, you'll see that the CC is being recognized. I can now choose which value I would like to map the command to. Um, let's say value zero, for example. Let's map this to pause. And let's do the same thing again and map value 127 to play. Now when I move this little knob here to value zero, Ableset will pause, and when I move it to 127, so the maximum value, Ableset will start playback. This is still an experimental feature and it'll be available with the next beta, but if you already have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I wish you a great day.